Welcome to Electraline. Let's do another example of these differential equations where we end up with complex roots. Starting with the characteristic equation, we get r squared plus 4 times r plus 13 equals 0. And of course, when we find the roots of this, we end up with complex roots. Notice that r is going to be equal to minus b, which is minus 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. Simplifying that, we get r is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 52 divided by 2. Simplifying further, we get minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 52 is minus 36 divided by 2. And now simplifying even further, we get r1 and 2, the two roots are going to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus, that would be 6i divided by 2, or 3i. These are the two complex roots of this differential equation, or at least the characteristic equation of the differential equation. Notice the general form of the roots are r1 and 2 is equal to a plus or minus bi, which lends itself to the general solution as follows. We have y as a function of t is equal to e to the a t times the quantity c1 times the cosine of b t plus c2 times the sine of b t. Then we simply plug in what these are equal to. a is negative 2, b is 3. Therefore, the general solution y of t is equal to e to the minus 2 t times c1 cosine of 3t plus c2 sine of 3t. And that's the general solution to this homogeneous differential equation. And that's how it's done.